I'm working on an inertia in Laravel application and I want to restrict some users from being able to perform certain actions. If I go to account and then team, we have this new member form where the admin can invite new members to the team. And down below we have the list of members and the possibility to remove them. I want to only allow the account owner to see the invite form and the remove buttons. Previously I would have just used the can blade directive. But since we are no longer using Blade but Vue.js components, we need to figure out another way to do it. To start, let's create a gate in our auth service provider that checks if the current user is the account owner. Okay, so we need to define a new gate. Gate, define, let's call it manage members. and it needs to return whether the current user is the owner. Now that the gate is created, we need to make sure Inertia knows about it. To do that, we use the Inertia share functionality. In my case, I use a dedicated service provider, but this could very well be directly in your app service provider. So I use Inertia service provider, and here I have the inertia share call. What we need to do is to include whatever the current user can do. So we'll add the can key. That will basically have the manage members gate. This will be user can manage members. Now let's go back to the browser and check if the user prop includes our new can attribute. So refresh, oh, we get an exception. We need to use the gate facade instead. So let's go back to our service provider and this needs to be the facade. And refresh again. Okay, so let's check our user prop. We go to props user and we have this can object that contains the manage members gate. Okay, let me quickly log out from the admin user and use a member. And then now the can manage members is false because this one is just a regular member. From now on, all we need to do is to add a conditional in our view component to hide the invite form and the remove button. So if I go to theme show, I have the form right here. All we need to do is add a vf user can manage members and refresh. Oh, I also need to include the heading. So I guess it's this one right here. Refresh all good. And let's do the same for the remove buttons. This will be here. User can manage. refresh and that's it. When it comes to authorizing actions on specific models using policy objects, the story is quite the same, only a little bit different. For example, we have this disconnect project button right here on the project settings. To hide this button from the admin, from the admin, from a regular member, we would use a policy object. So if we go and create a new policy object like so, uh, PHP artisan make policy. And register it in the auth service provider. So project Now if 
we go here, we would have a manage connection which receives the authenticated user and it should return true if the user is owner. So only the account owner can manage a project connection. Now on the projects controller we have the index method that takes the projects and transforms them to only return some specific columns. We can also include a can property here that will basically return manage project connection. Of user can manage connection and we pass in the project. Now if you go to the project index page and see what projects do we receive. see that each project has the can property and the manage connection attribute and we also need to do the same for the settings method and also the issues why not and now if we go to an individual project we also have the can property and we need to do the same as we did with the remove member from the members area so we go to project settings and look for the disconnect and reconnect project so we do the if project can manage connection now if we refresh we can no longer disconnect this project and if we log in with an admin account and go to the project we can now disconnect the project and it's the same for the team that's it that's how you do authorization with inertia and laravel Keep in mind that the gates and the policy also needs to need to be applied on the controller actions. So for example, if we have uh, this connect right here, I need to do something like this authorize manage connection project. So you also need to protect the and actions of those buttons. But that's how you do it. Bye.